It is a beautiful sunny day in Arizona. And right now I am walking around the neighborhood with my bestie who is jiggling, baby. See her jiggling with Bruno. <laughs> so I told you guys I wanna start walking and try to lose weight. Uh, I had a very large meal from uh, Denny's. Um, and she gave me her head wrap so I don't have to wear one of my wigs. So I'm gonna walk with her and her daughters. And this is probably the best exercise for me right now. Uh, even though my back sometimes give out, but look at this. <sighs> Y'all can't see my attire, but yes. She's gonna try to walk all this fat off, guys. So I'm gonna continue this walk with my water and enjoy this day before I head for my three day trip. Pretty little neighborhood. So I'll talk to you guys later. everybody today's date is May the 11th on a Tuesday local time right now and Denver is 9 45 a.m. guys right now I am in the employee parking lot because I just parked the car and I have a trip go figure right so guys as of the 9th I started a four day reserve black period so 9th 10th 11th and the 12th so guys as of today I am good for two days I was not used for uh, for the first two days in my reserve block, but I bid it for this trip, guys, and that is where I am heading. So let me tell you about this trip, okay? So guys, number one, it is one leg to airport code SLC, which is Salt Lake City, okay? In Salt Lake City, I have a 15 hour and 46 minute layover. Day two, so Salt Lake to Denver, and then Denver to airport code msy which is new orleans and the new orleans back to denver so yeah day two is going to be a little bit long but that's where i'm heading this morning so guys my report time is 10 20 so i'll have time once i leave here go through the terminal tsa clock in for my trip now for this pairing i will be the beyonce okay that was the only position that was open so i bid it for it and here i am guys so not to you know don't really care about my position. Credit hours, nine. But this is a part of my reserve, so it doesn't really matter about the credit. Now, the time away from base. This is what I care about because of per diem. So time away from base is 29 hours and 59 minutes. So not a lot. So this is not a high value trip. This is again, just something for my reserve day. Because what I'm trying to do, guys, is build money up so that when I get paid on the 5th, the per diem, all of that will come in. So it adds up by calories. I keep telling you guys that. But it is cold out here in Denver. Very snowy. Cold. I think it's going to rain. Clouds. Yeah. It is. If you guys can see, look at that. So I'm just going to head right into the terminal, guys. I'm still rocking that Miami wig. I don't know what to call this, but she is. I had to comb her out and cut certain sections because it was so tangled. But this is the wig I'll be wearing for at least two more times until I'm able to go to Arizona. Once I get to Arizona, then I could get another wig. So we'll see how this all works. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna head in. I'm gonna try to get something to eat. I got my cup of ice from Sonic. That's gonna get me through. It's a short flight to Salt Lake, maybe like an hour 10. It's not a long flight. So guys, I will be with you more than likely when I am heading down the jet bridge. So good morning and you guys stay tuned. Okay guys, so right now I am heading, this is not the jet bridge, but this plane is actually outside the gate. So I'm heading up the ramp and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm gonna do what I gotta do before we start boarding. I'll see you in Salt Lake City. Good morning.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, and I finally made it to my room, so let's do the room tour. So as soon as you walk in, it's the bathroom. So we have towels here, toilet paper, a soap. I can't show it because it shows the name of the hotel. Here are the toiletries, body wash, shampoo, conditioner, lotion, tissue. Here's the shower. Just a basic shower, but it will do. All right, and here is a hair dryer. In the hair, guys, full length mirror. Okay. All right, now this does have that police door. So I'm not sure who is on the other side. Okay, closet. Okay, so they have a uh, extra comforter set. Okay, iron, hangers, iron board laundry bag and a safe okay and then here is the sleeping area okay another full-length mirror yeah so rocking a sweater with the white shirt all right coffee makers here so got all the amenities there is a container for the ice okay and then here is the beds guys you know i love a double bed and that's exactly what they gave me there's some of the artwork at this particular hotel i've stayed here before so you guys may or may not have seen this before okay there's the tv does have a refrigerator all right and as you can see the remote control the remote control is in a plastic bag which is perfect channel listing okay this is like a little workstation area here for your laptop and your other devices another mirror all right, and ladies and gentlemen, that will conclude the room tour. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and let's talk about the flight. Flight time from Denver to Salt Lake City was an hour and five minutes. We were on an A320 Space Flex. So this is the aircraft that has 186 passengers max capacity, 31 rows of seats. We were about three-fourths full. So it was a decent flight, very short flight. I love it. Tomorrow is going to be a longer day, but I have 15 hours out here. I will say guys that this is a long walk. For some reason, this airport doesn't have elevators. You know, like there's no shortcut from the actual terminal coming out to shuttle. It's about a 15 minute walk. I'm not even like exaggerating. It's a very long walk. So that's why um, we have to make sure that when we call the shuttle, we time that so that we're not waiting, okay? But my report time, well, my van time in the morning is 4.30 a.m. We need to be at the gate by 5.10 a.m. to start day two. So I am um, not gonna do anything out here, guys. I'm going to probably get something to eat because I am starving, watch a little TV, do a video, maybe, I don't know, and go to bed because it's a very early report time for me and I want to be my best. But the passengers love my makeup, they love my wig. I got so many compliments on this wig, guys, and even though it is a lot of hair, I don't know, people love it. And you know what, that's the beauty about wearing a wig for me. Everyone thinks I'm bald-headed, I'm not bald-headed. Yes, my edges are thin, okay? So I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys. I have edges. They are very incredibly thin, okay? Because of hair damage that I cause, but I have hair. But this is how my hair grows, is I'm not damaging my real hair. I'm not applying heat, I'm not perming. I'm not putting gel, pump it up or anything in my hair. I get my hair braided, my ends are cut, I grease my scalp, so again, this is just my way. Some people do quick weaves or sew-ins, there's multiple ways, but I tell you guys all the time, my wigs are free. Okay, my wigs are not tied down. I don't glue my wigs. I mean, like, honestly, look at, boop. You can see right there, okay? Easily they can come off. So with that being said, this is how I do my thing. You might see some other women do it different, but for my life as a reserve who is constantly on the go, I don't have time, baby. Put this wig on like a hat and go. You got an all-purpose dress that Tyree said, this is an all-purpose wig. Add a little water, some mousse, and she's ready to go. And that's exactly what I did. But I'm going to enjoy myself out here. You know, watch The Real Housewives of Atlanta, uh, part three of the reunion. I mean, I just saw with Portia. Oh, my gosh. Portia is engaged to, was it Fallon's ex-husband? 
That is messy. I, I, there has to be, like, ladies, let's have a little talk. Do we not honor girl code anymore? Like, when I was growing up, I don't care if my friend, my friend talked to a guy. They did not have to, you know, have sex with each other or whatever. But growing up, if my homegirl talked to somebody, I don't care if she gave me the green light. I'm not talking to him. You know, that happened with me and my sister Margaret. There was a guy that talked to her and tried to get with me. No man should ever come between a friendship, family, nothing. You know, they got bros before, we know the rest. I say chicks before, yeah, dickies, okay? Let me just say that. That's my anthem. I always stand by that. There has to be some type of girl code. We can't let these men just come and disrupt our lives. Like, we're friends, we're friends. No one should come between us, you know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I'm very shocked that Portia would do that. The ink is not even dry on the divorce papers and already she slid in and they are engaged. And it makes me wonder, there were scenes where Portia was at her house swimming. Was he like checking her out? And in my opinion, he's not all that cute, but he got money. And I've come to realize that a man could be, a man doesn't have to be attractive and have all the money in the world and somehow that makes him attractive. I don't care how much money a man has. There's certain things I like. If he is not attractive, if I cannot look at him and stomach his look, if I feel nauseous looking at him or I feel weird when he touches me, I can't be with him. Trust me when I tell you that. I will be with you to probably wrap up this vlog. I'm waiting on DoorDash, so y'all stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I got my food, finally. I ordered from Smashburger, so some of y'all wanna know how I eat and how I get down and how I am so unhealthy. Well, let's take a look. Okay guys, so this is what I'm eating. It is a grilled chicken sandwich. They gave me uh, shoestring onions, onion rings or whatever. That is not my thing, but here is the sandwich here. It's just, I got a double grilled chicken sandwich. I know it looks nasty, but this is how I get down with bacon, some barbecue sauce. Then I got sweet potato fries with my shake. That is how I'm getting down, guys, on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. So right now, guys, it is 3.28 p.m. in Salt Lake City. So this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to eat. I need to edit a video because I have no more space on my memory card. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to bed because, again, 4.30 comes quickly. So even though it's a beautiful Tuesday afternoon in Salt Lake City, I will not partake. Okay, I'm just going to mind my business and get some rest. So I'm gonna end this vlog, guys, this trip to Salt Lake City. I will be with you in the morning. So you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and see you soon. Hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today's date is Wednesday, May the 12th. And guys, the local time right now is Salt Lake City, approximately 4.17 a.m. Van time, 4.30. So I am filming from my cell phone because my camera, my memory card is full. I don't have an extra one. So I need to clear it, make some videos, so yeah. But you know what? This camera quality is better than other phones I've had, so why not? Okay, so this is the look today. Three legs today. So Salt Lake to Denver, and then I'm doing a New Orleans turn, guys. And then that should be it for this two day. So I am a little tired. It's really hard for me to go to sleep. You know, I, when I have such an early report time, I did fall asleep kind of late. But nevertheless, I am here. Thank God for breathing breath into my body, you know, awaking me up to another morning that was not promised. Thank God that I heard my alarm. You know, there's somebody who did not wake up this morning and their alarm still went off. So I am thankful for that. But yes, three legs, we're done. I am hungry. When I get to Denver, there's a little bit of a ground time of like an hour and 30, when in actuality it's not enough time, but we'll see what they have open. So anyways, guys, I'm just going to go downstairs, meet my crew. I do want to get a cup of ice. So I got my sonic cup here, fill it with ice, and then that's probably about it. But anyways, I'm going to head downstairs. This hair, honey. Yeah, she is really serving me life. Okay, honey. All right, guys, so I'll see you when I go down the jet bridge. Good morning. All right, guys, I'm heading down the jet bridge. I uh, dropped my cup of ice. I feel so bad. I made a mess, but I could not go clean it up. So I told somebody, but we're almost a full flight, a very early morning flight. Sometimes I can't believe it. 
but anyways i will see you when i get to denver you know i gotta do my safety checks and pre-flight requirements so you guys stay tuned we got three legs today guys so we are back in denver and the local time right now is about 8 5 a.m guys right now uh, i'm on the aircraft i just came back we landed around about 7 20 ish and we had a little bit of ground time so i went to the sea concourse and got my drink from starbucks it's been a minute and got me some breakfast because i have two more legs and i will be done for the day and that is a New Orleans turn. So the same aircraft that we came in with is what we are taking to New Orleans, baby, okay? We are we are on an A320 Space Flex, 186 passengers, max capacity, 31 rows of seats. The flight time, Salt Lake City, back to Denver, was 56 minutes. Pretty quick flight, um, three-fourths full. Right now the load is going to New Orleans. Looks a little full, okay? So it's not very often I work a New Orleans New Orleans trip. Like I always love the accents if they are authentic. Um, so we are just basically just sitting around. We start boarding at 825. So we have time, which is the good thing. And remember, ground time is a freestyle. It is time between flights. We do not get paid. Now, why do you ask? Because our main cabin door is open. So anytime the main cabin door is open, boo, it's a freestyle, okay? And unfortunately, my freestyle is for free. So, with that being said, I'm just going to sit here, mind my business, eat some of my breakfast, and y'all, y'all will see me in New Orleans, okay? But y'all stay tuned, guys. To my legs, and we are done. I just landed in New Orleans, okay? Uh, the local time is about 12.46 p.m. Uh, guys, we are almost ready to board. I got to take some stuff up to the gate agent, and then we should, someone left these. Oh, okay. And then this blanket too. I was gonna come up there. Can I get out? Yeah, you just shut the door right behind. You. Okay. Oh, I love the accent. Okay, <laughs> but yes. Uh, so flight time was two hours and seven minutes. Uh, almost a full flight, like I told you before. Um, so yeah, when passengers leave things on the aircraft, we are honest people. We turn it into the gate. AirPods. Those are valuable. I don't have. Don't know anything about the AirPod life, but yeah, that's what's going on, guys. So I'm about to go check the loads here. And then we are going to board because we have about 50 minutes in between this flight. And hey, it's almost time. So I'll see you when I get to Denver. So stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and I am back at the crash pad. What a long day. Day two was a little bit long. As I told you guys this morning, uh, local time right now in Brighton, Colorado is about 4.30 p.m. I told you guys my camera, I need to clear some memory space, so I'm gonna shoot this vlog, the rest of it from my phone. But guys, the flight time from New Orleans back to Denver, two hours and 32 minutes. I am tired. This wig is tired. These eyebrows are tired. Everything, child, is tired, okay? I am gonna take me a good little nap. Um, We'll see how the rest of my, uh, block goes if i get anything bid for anything but we were nearly we were nearly a full flight coming from new orleans a couple of cuties on there you know give me the forest whitaker eye but again i look but i don't touch i don't play i just don't i feel like i i feel like messing with a passenger i'll get in trouble i've had guys hit on me but yeah that's against my religion so guys, uh, I'm just going to head in, go to bed. It's a beautiful day out here. You know, a little cloudy, but the weather's nice. There's a cool little breeze. Um, feels good. I mean, I like to sleep cold. So I'm going to give you guys an aerial shot here. You guys can kind of see. But it's a really beautiful day out here in Brighton, guys. And I'm tired. Go back on reserve for a few more days. And then I'm off. So we'll see what happens, guys. But every day is a mystery. Being on reserve is, to me, it's like rolling dice. What are the odds that I'm gonna crap out on the first roll? For anyone who gambles and you shoot dice, you know, 7-11 is a winning hand, but you might be like Ashley Larry, 
risk it all, snake eyes. And that's the one part about reserve that is difficult. Reserve is like a waiting list. I am waiting. And there's a couple things I can do, like, you know, when I bid for trips and stuff, but this is the life. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this today. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry I'm so short, but y'all know I can talk and talk and talk. And I'm not gonna do that because I'm tired. So, uh, yeah, we talk to you guys later. So, signing off from Brighton, Colorado. Have a good day.